And these are my new tires. <laughs> Well, that's it. Last time these wheels are gonna be on the car. Goodbye, brake dust. Goodbye, problems. Goodbye, 27 pounds. And goodbye, tire stickers. Time to start the new chapter of this build. We got new shoes on the way. So I'm actually gonna be driving out to Palo Alto, which is Bay Area for those of you guys that don't know. And I'm picking up a set of Forge Star, they're the five spokes. I'll put a picture of them on the screen right here. I'm actually doing a straight swap for these. Uh, my buddy Nick, you guys might follow him, Group GT. Here's his at name, you can see all the good stuff. He's actually selling his 5.0. Getting something new, I'm not quite sure what it's gonna be. He is an amazing, amazing track driver. I know when I rode in the car with him, it was the most fun I've ever had in a car. And if you want an idea for track records for him, the fastest lap he ever ran at Thunder Hill was a 157. That is blazing fast. He had much more done to his car, but just as a reference, the fastest lap I've ran at Thunder Hill is a 208. So that's a huge difference, guys. Look at the man. That's a good face. You do curls with these, and you'd actually gain bicep strength. We got 30 pounds of rotating mat. Wait, does he get the he gone stickers? Of course. I think the funny thing is, the new owner of whoever buys Nick's car is gonna straight up have he gone stickers on his car. Wow. He's a fake. People would pay a lot of money for that. He's a fake. He's not the real he gone. Will the real he gone please stand up? I'm gonna show you the wheels and tires in just a second. I'm heading out there right now. It's about a three hour drive for me. I'm not gonna record anything of me driving. We are gonna get straight to the good stuff. And I'll see you in just a second. After three hours of driving, we finally made it to Nick's house. Everything is still in the trunk. That's a very good sign to start us off. I have my little slave worker over there, Nick, getting the wheels <laughs> out of his truck. And these are my new tires. <laughs> Look at how fat these things are. So we got, that's right, 315 for maximum grip. Look at these babies, 18 by 11s, right? Yeah, square. Oh, these fuckers are huge. I am just gonna load these into the truck and I don't wanna make Nick do all the work. So I'll catch up with you guys in just a second once we get it all packaged away. Alrighty friends, we are all loaded up. We got the meat with us. So, what Nick was just telling me, right here you can kinda see that offset. So these ones with the really extended offset, the deep metal, those are gonna be for the fronts. And if we come back here, you'll see it's much shallower and where we're looking is right here. So it's much shallower, those are gonna be for the rears, and that's just for clearance. As far as tread life on these, I mean, Nick was saying they probably got about two more track days on them. This one right here is the front left. This is probably the worst of them all, um, but still has got some life. I think as long as I rotate the tires, um, well, not rotate the tires, but dismount the tire from each wheel, and then switch them around so that that one is probably going to be on the right side and we'll, we'll have to figure out exactly what the best setup will be and i think as long as i can get two to three more track days out of these before buying a new set that's all i really want because i'm planning on going to the track probably in well definitely in october is the next track day that's planned and then i'll probably end up going again november december um and then maybe after December, I'll end up balling out and getting a new set of tires. But for now, I'm super satisfied with these. Also, if you're wondering, you do need to run camber plates and I am switching out back to my stock performance pack springs because if I try and mount these on my car right now, there's gonna be no clearance. Since they're 315s up front, there's gonna be absolutely no room for any of that to work on the current setup. 
So we're gonna be taking out the iBox Sport lines. I'm selling those. I'm going back home right now to pick up my performance pack springs. We're gonna throw those back on the car. We have Maximum Motorsports caster camera plates that are coming in tomorrow, and we're gonna be installing those. Everything will be happening on Saturday. I'm gonna try and get another video out to you on Monday, and you'll see all of the new setup. The car is gonna be back on the road. Then probably Wednesday's video is gonna be us getting uh, the car aligned and probably a first drive video. I know today's video was super short and uh, it really isn't exciting at all except for us picking these up, but that's where we're gonna end it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. The next week's whole series of videos is pretty much gonna be directly relating to this setup. So next week you have a whole bunch to look forward to. Peace out, y'all. We'll see you in the next video and be sure to work more and talk less. See ya.